Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about humbucker and filter trom pickups. Now I should start this video by saying in this video when I say humbucker what I mean is the Gibson pattern applied for or PAF style pickups. So before any of you start getting smart in the comments and saying well they're actually both a sort of humbucker, yes both of these pickups technically are humbuckers but for the sake of this video humbucker means PAF. I'm going to take you through a brief history of the pickups and why they came about and then going to discuss the similarities and differences of them and then I'll give you some demo clips so you can hear the differences between the two sets of pickups. So to understand why these pickups came about we need to go back to the early 1950s. As guitar music became more popular, bands started playing in bigger venues and needing louder amplifiers. As amplifiers got louder, single coils started to produce more noise, so engineers started looking for a way to get rid of the hum, or buck the hum. In 1954, a guitarist by the name of Chet Atkins was playing his Gretsch with the Armand Dynasonic pickups that he wasn't particularly happy with. He approaches engineer Ray Butts and he goes on to design the Filtertron pickups for Gretsch. Around the same time, over at Gibson, they're running into the same issue with their single coil P90 pickups. In 1955, Seth Lover designs the PAF, or Pattern Applied For pickup. These would then start appearing in models in 1956. So both of these pickups come from a need to reduce noise, but really, that's where the similarities between the two end. Now I'm no electronics engineer, but I'll give you my best attempt to explain the differences in the construction of these pickups. I'll also link down in the description to a website that goes into more detail if you're interested. So construction-wise, the Filtertron features a narrower bobbin. It also features a thicker, more massive base plate, which creates more inductance within the pickup. The bar magnets used in the pickups are also twice the size compared to the PAF pickups. This means the Filtertrons use about half the amount of wire that a PAF does. Less wire is required because the bigger magnets produce a greater magnet pull. The Filtertron has larger screws, whereas in the PAF you have smaller screws, but also pole slugs. Due to the nature of the construction and the narrower bobbins, and the less wire, the Filtertron pickup picks up a narrower section of the strings. This is what causes it to have its unique sound, and why some people think it sounds closer to a single coil than the PAFs do. So that's a brief overview of the history and how the pickups are made. Now let's see if we can hear the difference between how they sound. I'm going to play you some clips on both the neck and bridge pickup, as well as with some overdrive. For the PAF style sounds, you're going to be hearing my 2024 Gibson SG. This has 490 PAF style pickups in it. For the Filtertron clips, you're going to be hearing my 2022 Gretsch G2655, which I've modified with a set of Mojo Trons from UK based pickup maker Mojo Pickups. <laughs> 